We are going to find the focal length of convex lens in the lab using an optical bench. We will do this by adjusting the object distance and subsequently finding the image position and finding out the corresponding image distance, plotting graphs and calculating the focal length. Let us see the apparatus we require. You need the optical bench, three uprights, one for the object pin, one for the convex lens and one for the image locating pin. Other than this, you will require something to measure the end correction or the index error. The two pins sharp enough for you to be able to see. One of them is going to act as the object and the other as the image locator. To understand the principle of this experiment, I'm going to show you a very small short experiment with a candle. Because as soon as you imagine the lens giving an image, this image would be formed anywhere in space. So how do we do that? We place the convex lens Place a candle in front of it. Light from the candle is going to be in all the directions. I will place this carefully. Light is in all the directions. What is falling on the convex lens will refract and go on the other side. So your image will be formed somewhere here in this region. If you keep your line of sight along here, seeing through the lens, you will be able to observe the image of the candle. Let us see if we can locate it on this screen. As I bring it closer, you can see the image formed somewhere here. Now, if I remove the screen, the image is still there. Take a look at it again. The image is formed somewhere here. And this image is formed at this point. It's a real image because we got it on the screen. You have reference for it because it was inverted. And this is the point which we will need to locate. So from the object to the lens is my object distance. And from the lens to this location where the image is formed is going to be my image distance. How do we do this in the lab? We are not going to use the candle because this would be an approximate result. I blow this off and for us to see what we are going to be looking at, I am using this particular crayon which is blue in color. Again adjusting the levels so that this is almost here, placing it anywhere in front of it and using another crayon of a different color to be placed here. If you were to view this arrangement from this side, keeping the line of sight in mind, you will see an inverted image of the blue crayon and you will have to then see, look for the position of the inverted image somewhere here. In effect, it means that you are going to remove parallax between the image of the blue crayon and the green crayon. So, you will have to look along this line, adjust it in such a way by moving your head and you will find a position where this parallax is removed. This would be more accurate than the earlier experiment. So, you have object distance and the distance from the lens to this point as the image distance. You can use the formula or you can plot graphs by taking several of these readings and find this value. What will our ray diagram look like for this? For the ray diagram, it is advisable to place a principal axis, place the lens in the center, keep a, a point for optical center. Place your object on the left hand side, allow two rays 
one parallel to the principal axis and the other passing through the optical center and follow the rules that means a ray coming parallel to the principal axis after refraction passes through the principal focus on the principal axis get the inverted image and you will be able to understand how and why the image size is changing the formula that you will use will be 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u where f stands for focal length and v stands for image distance and u stands for object distance remember for sign convention we are using the object on the left hand side of the lens so if you measure the distance from the optical center this distance by cartesian coordinate system would become negative and this would turn out to be positive so your formula 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u you need to find out two things one rough focal length of the convex lens so you are basically focusing light from a very distant object on the screen the distance from the lens to the screen becomes its focal length so rough estimation is necessary because that will allow you to adjust on the bench easily so first thing is rough focal length and the second one is place all these together along with the pins adjust the height so that you are kind of working along the optical center and the principal axis would lie connecting all these points look out for the index error measure it in between these points and make a note of what its value is from the scale in case the upright is not vertical you may have to make an adjustment for that we are now going to take our observations having seen that the rough focal length of this convex lens is about 20 cm we will look for only real images so we will place our object or this object pin at a distance of more than 20 so between 20 40 you can take any of those other values so let us see this is at 20 and i am fixing this at let us say 50 now the image of this particular pin which we are treating as object pin is going to be formed somewhere here so our next attempt should be to find the location of this image by using this image locator pin so what we will do is move this on the bench trying to see in this line of sight so that we can remove parallax between this pin and the image of our object move your head so that you have the correct parallax removal view only from one eye so that your line of sight remains correct and this is the position that you get make a note of that in your observation table where you've put position of object position of lens position of image for the next reading we are going to shift this by 10 cm and say we now take it to 60 relocate our image locator Remember the object needle will give an inverted image and you shift this to remove parallax between the image locator and the image of the object Do this carefully and make a note of the new position of this pin You must take at least 5 readings So in between this because this will otherwise become too close in between this take two more readings and your five 
readings will be there for you to plot a graph. So you are going to take your graph paper and on the x-axis, which will be your negative x-axis, you are going to put the values for u and on the y-axis, which is your positive axis, you are going to put the value for v. Now another important thing is that you take the same scale for u and for v. For both of them, same scale should be selected. So, you plot your first reading, the second reading, third reading, fourth and the fifth reading. You will see the scatter of points and a curve would join them. Draw the curve and from the origin, using your ruler, Find the point where u is equal to v. This location is 2f or twice the value of focal length where u and v are equal. They are on the different sides but they are equal in value. So you have the value for u and v equal. Note that value and then get half that value to get the value of focal length. Another way of plotting the graph is to find the reciprocal for the values of u and v. This will also help you to calculate straight away from the formula. 1 upon f equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u. If you were to put it in a graph of 1 upon v and 1 upon u, then it would be a straight line. y is equal to mx plus c. The intercept of this line is going to be the value for 1 upon f. So, on both the axes, the intercept can give us the same value for focal length. Find the reciprocal of 1 upon f and you have the focal length. Report your result for the focal length of the convex lens. What sources of error can be there? One is that the uprights may not be vertical. The second one could be that the pins are not fine and sharp. Because then, if the thickness is variable, then you are not going to be able to remove parallax that easily. What about the lens? The lens should be of uniform density. It should be made of homogeneous glass. Because if it is not so, then the refraction at different points would be different. And so your image would not only be distorted, it may not be clear enough for you to do the experiment. So it is advisable to use a good quality lens to work in the lab for finding the focal length.